When he told me that then I'd had to operate and open my brain and freeze the nerves, it was the shocking point of my life saying, you know, take a step back. My purpose in life is to share my own personal experiences of healing, of transformation, of everything I've learned over the years, entrepreneurial journey to the spiritual journey and share it with all. And that's kind of what I'm embodying and doing right now. I'm very happy to be doing it. I set up with my partner um, a field marketing agency and it was very successful. We grew it from a one-man show to three to over 100 in the first year. By year three, we had over 400 employees. And by my fifth year in the operations, I had 14 different countries. I handled 1,400 employees, and it was a beautiful journey. But that journey led me to constantly being on the plane. Every two days, I'm on the plane, another country. And it took its toll on me. My wake-up call came when I had a lot of pain in my head. Eventually, I ended up going to the top neurosurgeon at the American Hospital in Dubai, where I lived then. And he told me I had something called the trigeminal neuralgia. It's this chronic pain affecting the trigeminal nerve, so it affects everything. To him, he's like, it's not that difficult of an operation. I'm like, you're gonna open my brain. It's not, it frees my nerves. What if you get the wrong nerve, you know, I'm destroyed. I took a step back and said, I'm gonna travel. And I found myself, you know, going to all the healers in Dubai that would come running to different ones just trying to, to find healing. And in my journey now, I knew that we are the healers. We have the answers. Just two months after that trip, I went and did a breath work. And that breath work took me to somewhere very special, somewhere amazing that I could not believe I could get to just with the breath. Then I knew what I wanted to do, but more than that, I knew what I want, didn't want to do. And that was the transformation of moving from field marketing and digital media to setting up and founding Nefas Journeys. Everything I've learned in the 20-year experience from leadership, marketing, organization, social media, I implanted in NFS Journeys, making it immaculate and everything perfectly aligned. For NFS Journeys, I initially thought it'd be for the entrepreneurs that are suffering like me, the C-level executives that had major issues, but it's not just them. It's even a mother, a housewife, um, the younger yogis, or a, a someone, a young man or woman in college uh, not understanding. And my mindset said, People need healing, and when the time is ready, they will come. They'll go for that journey, that retreat, that experience. Meditation, guided meditation, yoga, Pilates, connecting with nature, an ice bath to control the body with the mind, the breath work to connect with the spirit, sound healing to see the frequency and the vibrations. And once the heart opens up and the mind opens up, suddenly healing takes place because there's so much going on. Today I go into corporates and explain the power and the benefits of the breath. We hosted an EO Cairo chapter retreat over three days. And through it, we've given them a taste of the retreats we host in Bali and Peru and elsewhere. The Cairo chapter were amazing. They were open, they were willing. We were sponsored by our good friends Heka, and Heka was an incredible uh, collaboration with everything that we believe in, so the alignment was wonderful. And what they represent of wellness, of holistic healing, is everything that I'm embodying. And that's kind of where I want to see Nefes going. We host these retreats, dates are set, people are invited to come. We're open to private retreats or other retreats that we're invited to. We have a small team, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. To me, I'm excited, but I'd rather have quality over quantity, a very powerful retreat. Not necessarily numbers or you know, financials, it's really, we get a retreat and it's so effective. And it's, all of them have been like that. The breath, it's something very powerful that's, that's, that's learned. That's a way to excel, that's a way to connect. One deep and conscious breath, just one, can put you in a meditative state.